I'd just cuffed the whelp for scuffing my boot with the stirrup when... Oh, abominable. My, my, what have we here? You look bored, handsome. Why don't you get me a drink? Really? I wouldn't peg him as your type. He is pretty cute, though. Jorian whiskey? You strike me as a lady who likes something with a little bite. Stop encouraging her, Rafid. You need no more opportunities to drag our family's name through the mud. You must leave, now, and use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. I guess I should have worn my strapless blast vest. Now that would have been a sight to see. Do shut up, Rafid, or I'll be speaking to your father. Must you two squabble in front of our guests? You're causing more of a stir than our visitor here. Ladies and gentlemen, please, return to the festivities. I will have a few words with our esteemed guest here. Glad to meet somebody civil. Forgive my relations. They have a low threshold for impropriety. You aren't seriously considering dealing with this thug? <laughs> Uncle, please. I have the situation well in hand. Return to the festivities. This is not a request. I believe I know why you're here, but this is a discussion best held in private. Please wait in my office. I'll be right with you. the Durst Deal Duke. Can you help or not? Right to the point, yes? I'm afraid the Duke and his sister left House Gerard some time ago under unpleasant circumstances. House Gerard now has a vested interest in finding the Duke and having him meet an unpleasant end. A minor noble claims to have a lead on the Duke. However, he insists on meeting in person, which I'm not willing to do. Instead, I will employ you. You're expecting a double cross? It's possible. Either way, I'm certainly not going out into that war zone, and none of my relatives can be trusted. I can't expect you to navigate the intricacies of our society, but I can give you the authority to negotiate on my behalf. From this point on, you will act as House Gerard's advocate, a role of honor. Come, I will walk you through the appointment ceremony. Let's make this happen. Please kneel. I, Baron Zaka Gerard, do hereby bequeath my voice and my seal to this proxy. Now repeat after me. I humbly accept this honor and swear to carry my authority in a manner befitting the Lord I serve. Uh-huh, I accept. You know the rest. So we done? What? No, you must... Ah, oh, never mind. It is customary for information to be double encrypted in these transactions. So Lord Malthus must enter his half of the key before you take the data. I'll let Malthus know you'll arrive at his encampment soon. Be on your best behavior. Stop right where you are. You have no rank here. Etiquette dictates that no one below my rank is permitted within ten paces of my person without my express consent. Um, is he serious? Wait, you? You are the advocate of House Gerard? Outrageous! And I would not trust the likes of you to scrub my sewage, let alone deliver vital correspondence. That's quite a mouth you got there. Mom was a nerf herder, huh? I will not trade barbs with a base-born wretch. Honor dictates this message must stay in my care until I give it to someone of rank, not a trained thranta. Look, I have here tokens of respect for my peers, a mission for a page. Deliver them and earn a ten-year-old's honor, then I can speak to you. You expect me to run this junk all over Alderaan? Too much to ask. This is why we don't trust the ill-bred with even tasks of menial honor. If you have no honor and will not prove yourself, I have no reason to further tolerate your presence. Give me the tokens so I can get this over with. Present the tokens to the fool nobles at each outpost like so, and do not dare speak to them. If I don't receive word from them in short order, you may consider our business annulled. Run along now, and mind your betters. Hmm? Ah. Saverin is becoming more generous in his business. 
Pass on the gratitude of House Thor. This is sufficient, I suppose. I'll send word to Malthus that his contribution did not go unnoticed. Another gift. <laughs> Sir Vorin must be desperate for my good opinion. If there's nothing else, I have duties to attend to. All right, all right. You've done the job of a ten-year-old boy. I'll grant you that. It's hard to believe you have to offer kickbacks with that winning personality of yours. Were you worthy of my attention, I'm sure you would find me quite affable. However, I am satisfied that you can handle the trifle of delivering this message. And I've unlocked my half of the security key. You may return to Baron Zacker, appearing somewhat competent. I'll be sure to tell him you didn't soil yourself when we met. Come along, men. I've had enough of this vagrant's banter. It is clear that you have plans in motion, nephew. Ah, your newest lackey. Tell me, did my nephew mention that he already hired a bounty hunter and got him promptly killed? Past business dealings aren't my interest. Getting paid for this one is. That could have been our competition. Might have caught a lucky break. If you would please excuse yourself, Uncle. I have business with my advocate. I see how your brat Rafid learned to disgrace us. Advocate. Ah. You're back without incident. I'm surprised Lord Malthus didn't raise a stir. Insufferable man. I don't let chumps get me riled. You performed admirably. According to Malthus's information, Duke Corwin is in negotiations with our enemy, House Organa. They're placing messages in phony relics at House Alder's Royal Museum for later retrieval. Duke Corwin's placed an imposter relic in the museum recently. You'll have to forcibly enter House Alder and find it. I was thinking my rap sheet's a little light on breaking and entering. This is not playtime. You're to identify the fraudulent relic and bring me the message. And use extreme caution. The museum holds priceless cultural treasures. Nobody wants to be responsible for destroying that heritage. Well, looks like we're getting to sightsee after all. What is all that noise? Oh, oh, wow. Look at all this stuff. It's gorgeous. Oh. Oh, no. Out, please. Take your battles elsewhere. This museum has no strategic value. You're gonna keel over if you keep that up. Just point out the fake and I'm gone. You must be mistaken. Each piece here is an irreplaceable artifact from Alderaan's long and distinguished heritage. Some are thousands of years old. You must go before anything is damaged. I'm not leaving until I find what I'm looking for. I have cared for these antiquities for 57 years. Every item here is the genuine article. I can prove it to you. I have an integrity scanner we use for restoration work. It will only take a few minutes to scan for a not- Oh no! The security cameras, they've spotted you. You can't fight in here. Guess you better hurry then. Oh no, oh no, oh no! I, I, I found something. But that's impossible. If this is a fake, where is the real first founding memorial vase? You work well under fire. Ever thought about bounty hunting? Don't be preposterous. I did nothing more than my duty to protect these cherished treasures. You have what you want, no? Please, leave. Please. Accept your hand? <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I, I, I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged. Approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. I'm not your bouncer. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose insolence is to be expected from one of your sparse social graces. As for you, if I find you here when I return, I'll have the cook skewer and baste you. D does this mean I should uh, cancel the ceremony? Your attack on House Alder certainly didn't go unnoticed, but you managed not to cause any unnecessary destruction. That merits a bonus, I think. Appreciated, Baron. You'll be certain to see more if you continue to perform with distinction. Let's see what you've discovered. Hmm, this is an Organa's house tub. Give me a moment to pass the details. These houses, 
Thule vassals? Ulgo vassals? House Organa. Duke Corwin isn't just allying with the Organas. He's organizing an entire coalition against the House Thor. He won't be organizing squat when I'm done with him. Oh, you'll never have the chance to make good on that threat. My cousin is safe within the sanctuary of House Wrist. If he's under their protection, it's little wonder why the Juristeel Duke always survives. The Wrists are a family of assassins who ascended into nobility through centuries of murder and sabotage. Duke Corwin is beyond our reach. I'm gonna pay House Wrist a visit. Be back once the Duke's a corpse. You're determined. I'll give you that. You'll need to find Duke Corwin's haven inside House Wrist and stop whatever negotiations my cousin has underway permanently. I'm likely sending you to your death, but if you can manage to succeed, I will have a suitable payment waiting. This. I'm afraid you're too late. Duke Corwin took his leave of House Wrist on a shuttle just moments ago. Rather hastily, I might add. So hastily he neglected to pay me. A rather gauche breach of etiquette. And unwise. Folks don't see so clearly when I'm hot on their trail. I'll admit your dogged pursuit has been rather impressive. Still, it's odd to see Duke Corwin panic. Regardless, congratulations are in order for surviving this long. It's more than can be said for the last bounty hunter to stalk our dear Duke. I do got this funny habit of breathing. I see you have a sense of humor. It'd be a shame to see it extinguished. I'm going to make you an offer, and I'm only going to make it once. House Wrist has been contracted to eliminate Baron Zakhar Gerard and all of House Gerard's leadership. We'd like to commission you to carry out these assassinations on our behalf. You're asking me to kill my present employer. It's bad form. Hardly. Wait until after you've collected Baron Zakar's bounty on the Durasteel Duke before you destroy House Gerard. There's no rush. House Wrist has no further obligation to Duke Corwin. Agree to the contract. You can go in peace. I don't trust this guy, boss. Zakar's been good to us so far. Let's play straight with him. It's a simple decision, really. Death. Or profit. Your credits are no good. Such a pity. Goodbye, Bounty Hunter. Advocate, are you there? Oh, damn this blasted thing. Can you hear me? I have news. I don't dare discuss the details on an insecure channel. Please return to House Gerard as soon as possible. I apologize for recalling you here, but I couldn't risk my cousin catching wind of this discussion. If his retreat from House Wrist is any indication, the Durasteel Duke is already running scared, and I'd like him to stay right where he is. It may not be our goal, but crippling House Wrist is worth noting. Consider this payment for supporting the Thule War effort. Nothing beats a stack of credits. What is the meaning of this? I just caught this little rake of yours in a dalliance with my wife. More like you caught your wife in a dalliance with me, cuckold. Unless you want half of House Thule questioning why we continue to keep you riffraff here, you'll grant me that winter haven of yours. My grandfather's estate? Are you mad? That's half my family's lands. Advocate, kill this petty extortionist and I'll double what I just gave you. Your credits. Worth every last credit. Thank you, Advocate. Rafid, you're confined to your chambers indefinitely. Hope I do not keep you there for the rest of your natural life. Now get out! My life or yours, Father? As I was saying, with House Wrist unable to protect him, I have no doubt that Duke Corwin is seeking asylum with the Organas. The Wrist didn't know where he went. How do you? Thule scouts reported spotting a civilian shuttle headed into Organa territory shortly after you breached House Wrist's compound. There's nowhere left for my cousin to run. 
go kick down House Organa's doors and give them hell. Expect a bonus for any additional Organa casualties. <laughs>